I am going to share some information about YouTube. So just a little bit of background information to start this off. Um, YouTube is an American video sharing website. It is headquartered in San Bruno, California. Um, it was created by three former PayPal employees in 2005. Uh, and then um, it was bought by Google for $1.65 billion. So YouTube is like crazy. YouTube allows you to do so many different things. You can search, you can upload, watch, share, comment on videos, um, and there's there's not a lot that isn't on YouTube. Um, it includes video clips, uh, trailers, movie clips, uh, music videos, documentaries, um, short original videos, and uh, tutorials and also educational videos. Um, you can do a lot with YouTube. You can uh, personalize it a lot by creating an account. Um, it's If you have a Gmail account already, then you already have a YouTube. You just may not be using it. Um, but it's super easy to create an account. It's free. If you do create an account, you can create your own videos, have your own channel, really do whatever you want with it. And then if you don't have an account, you are still able to browse all sorts of videos. So the possibilities to use YouTube in the classroom are pretty much endless. Um, you can search content about pretty much everything. Uh, you can make your own class related videos. Um, I took a class last semester where we had three group projects and we had to create videos and then to turn them in we would just upload them onto our YouTube account and then just share with our professor the link. So that was my first experience with using YouTube um, as far as turning things in and like getting graded on like a YouTube video, um, but that was really cool. It was super easy to figure out. And I mean, in this day and age, um, it would be rare to find um, a kid as young as probably five or six who doesn't know how to use YouTube. Um, I nanny and the kids I nanny are very young and they're on YouTube all the time. Um, so there are of course some drawbacks like anything. Um, the biggest one for YouTube would probably be inappropriate content because of course there is inappropriate content on YouTube, but um, there are restrictions. Um, you have to be 18 to watch certain sensitive content videos and of course there are ways around that, but for the most part it's pretty restricted. Um, so not only can you have like assignments based on YouTube, but there are really um, endless learning possibilities. Um, my teachers in high school implemented YouTube into the classroom in a lot of different ways, um, whether they were showing a documentary or maybe a short clip from a film that applied to what we were learning about. And no matter how you use it, it's just a great way to give students not only a visual but an auditory component together, which adds a lot of dimension to whatever you're teaching. So. It's great and let's learn how to use it.